Third is personal in the form of Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by his, by the, his power, by the word of his power, when he, had, when he himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of majesty on high. So the word of God, the truth, is personal, and as well as being personal, is textual. Second Timothy 3, 16, 17. All scripture, all scripture, all, A-L-L, not S-O-M-E, A-L-L, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for, listen now, doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Now, we know that we, the only perfect man ever walked the face of this earth is Jesus. None of us are going to be perfect until we become as he is. But we are striving towards perfection. That's why it's an ongoing thing. We don't ever stop learning. We don't ever stop reading. We don't ever stop praying. As long as we are in this flesh, we have to keep doing the things we have to do to stand. Christ equates the message, the word, the truth itself. What God tells us through the person, the teaching, and the message of Christ is that which is real. It is actual. It is truth in the deepest and most fundamental sense. God is truth. And salvation comes when we accept the reality of who he is and who we are. Now, I want to give you ten truths about the truth. The truth, the word, the Bible, is both a divine and a human book. Every word of the Bible is inspired by God, 2 Timothy 3.16. All scriptures given by inspiration of God is profitable for doctrine, for truth, for correction, for instruction, and righteousness. He spoke through various human authors using their unique personalities and writing styles to com communicate exactly what he wanted to say. 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 20 to 21. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but the holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Number two, the truth, the word, the Bible is a story. The Bible is not simply a collection of religious sayings or a collection of various people's religious experiences. The Bible tells us the true story of the world, the way things truly are and should be. Understanding the basic plot of the Bible that runs from Genesis to Revelation helps us better understand every passage in between.